Hi, hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really good and you're keeping well at the moment. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through a what I eat in a day video. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite meals that I've been having at the moment. I really enjoy filming these videos. So I'm just gonna take you through my day. I'm gonna take you through a home workout and just show you what I got up to. I haven't had a coffee yet, so I'm in desperate need of one of those. And I've woken up really hungry today so I'm excited for my breakfast. I've had quite a few questions but I'm not intermittent fasting at the moment. I'll explain that later on in the video but for now we need our coffee and our breakfast. So I'm just making a vitamin C tablet. What I've been doing with these is leaving these out the night before because I always forget them first thing and all I ever do is go straight to that coffee machine. I'm coming at you very bright this morning. The sun is not shining today, but it's okay. I've actually had this a few years. Isn't it crazy how like tie-dye stuff seems to come in and out of fashion? I just need to decide what I want for my breakfast. I think I'm gonna have the baked berry oats that I made in one of my like different ways to make oats video the other day. It's like you're having a dessert for breakfast and it's like eating kind of like an apple pie that's the only thing I can think of how to describe the taste so I'm gonna make an iced coffee this morning I've just got this circular ice cube type thing these large like balls which are really nice rather than like the little mini cube oh! and then I'm just grabbing my fancy glass this is my favorite coffee pot the Starbucks blonde roast if you do have one of these Nespresso machines honestly you've got to try that So I've just started preheating my oven to 180 degrees and then I'm just going to show you all the ingredients that I'm using to make my baked oats but yeah it literally just takes between like 20 and 25 minutes in the oven. So this is what you will need some plain oats I'm just using the normal rolled ones some egg whites you could just use obviously egg whites from eggs that you've got in some milk of preference i'm using almond and sweetened some whey protein this is in cookies and cream flavor frozen berries i really like frozen blueberries at the moment and some flavor drops i'm using vanilla flavor and then just a little bit of baking powder to make it rise and what i like to do is just add everything to a mixing bowl and then pop it into like a baking tray i'm just going to start by measuring 40 grams of oats using my scale i'll pop all the measurements on the screen and obviously like the macros I can normally do. Then I'm using 150 grams of milk. Basically the same recipe that your normal oat bowl is, just with like baking powder and egg white really. I'm using 20 grams of the cookies and cream whey protein. A few drops of the vanilla flavour drops, about two or three about 45 grams of the liquid egg whites so that would be like two egg whites if you're usually using like normal egg like half a teaspoon of baking powder and then 45 grams of frozen blueberries you could use like mixed berries too and then i'm just going to give that all a stir around it goes this really nice, like, blueberry colour as well. Just set a timer for 25 minutes. So this is the part where I try and distract myself for the 25 minutes that it's cooking because I don't know about you but I always have to like prod just mess about with whatever's cooking in the oven when I'm hungry so I'm gonna take myself off somewhere it gets for about 20 minutes just check on it um, if you prefer things like more like gooey take it out then or if you prefer more like crispy then leave it in for a little bit longer it's something that I've been loving doing recently is putting on some like feel good oldies in the morning and just dancing around my kitchen I made a playlist I think it was last week on my Spotify. I'll pop that in the description bar if you also want to dance along in the morning. I just think it makes you feel so good. It's been sunny for the past few weeks and today's the first sort of cloudy day that we've had. And when I looked out the window this morning, I did feel a bit like, oh God, like come back sunshine, please. Lauren Hill, um, Return of the Mac.
just so that's just come out of the oven and i'm just gonna put some toppings on it but it just looks like a cake doesn't it i'm just gonna put some chocolate also some smooth peanut butter so here is my first meal of the day this huge oh goodness packed with protein before the toppings it's 285 calories which is just crazy just sat down with my breakfast and it's like a massive living like and i've got my coffee so good so i'm just coming to my office Gonna, so I'm just going to write my to-do list for the day. I've got to do this otherwise I don't get anything done. And then I'm just going to pop my headphones in and do my little morning meditation. I've mentioned that quite a bit on here. There's one on YouTube um, that I particularly really, really like. I'll link the one description down below, but always makes me feel so good afterwards and it's just this morning positive energy guided meditation i always think i look really weird when i like film myself doing the meditations when i watch them back so i'm gonna do one of those click my fingers and i'll be in gym gear i'm procrastinating right now we are dressed I made the video the other day I had these in the green and I had to order them in the purple before they went out of stock I actually sized down and these fit a lot better I got these in a six and the other green ones were in an eight and um, there's not too much difference though to be fair I'm just going about to train and it's leg day which means I need a really good playlist so I was going mixed cloud I really like DJ Blighty like anything R&B, like hip hop, RV official. I might listen to this one today. I've got a separate diary, um, which I like log all my workouts in. I've just got showered and changed and everything that was such a tough workout like mentally more than anything I just wasn't really feeling it today and I felt myself like trying to slack and I was trying to skip one of my last sets and I was just about to do it and then I was like no because I know what happens then it just has an effect on my whole day and then like my future workouts and I always think it's those like last sets and reps that count the most and it's really easy when you're at home as well to just think oh just like skip this last one but mentally when you do things like that it just affects you really negatively so always make sure if you set out to do something get the job done no slacking just remember how good it feels like once you've got it done i'm really glad but i did those now so i'm just gonna make some lunch i'm not sure what i'm thinking i have to see what i've got in the fridge so for my lunch i've just grabbed some bits out that i've got in the fridge so i'm gonna have some chicken breast and I'm going to marinate it in some jerk barbecue sauce. This sauce is so, so good. It's quite spicy. It's got a kick to it. Um, half an onion and then just like season the chicken and stuff in a separate bowl. I'm going to have it with some Mexican style rice and some like peppery greens. And I just put like balsamic vinegar. and 74 grams of chicken i'm just obviously making this portion for myself i'm just and then i'm just going to measure out my sauce and um, be careful with like a lot of sauces because they contain quite a lot of sugar and stuff 
season it with some garlic granules as well, adding some all purpose seasoning as well. And then I'm just going to fry this in the pan with the onion. I'm just waiting for that to cook and I'm snacking on these corn cakes, they're so nice. My chicken is all cooked but I absolutely like making everything into like a bit of a sauce so I'm just going to add a little bit of yoghurt and almond milk. Taking my salad bag, big handful, using some balsamic vinegar to go on the top. Just sprinkling some uh, sunflower seeds on the top. And my Mexican rice. So here we have my barbecue chicken, Mexican rice and salad, my second meal of the day. Honestly, this tastes unreal. It's one of my favorites and a really nice like filling meal. Oh my God, this looks so good. You could have this for dinner as well. I'm having a Coke Zero as well. sat here in quite a while I just wanted to sit down and like chit chat about a few things and quite a few questions that I've been getting recently first one is intermittent fasting you guys will probably know that I was intermittent fasting about a month ago I did it for a couple of months really really enjoyed it and it really suited me at the time but then when circumstances changed like with the whole quarantine and stuff it just wasn't suiting me as much like I just preferred having breakfast first thing in the morning it's purely the only reason just you know taking each day at a time and doing what feels best for myself and I would always say to do the same and then the other thing is just about like my cut at the moment I've been really um enjoying my cut which sounds a bit funny to say because I remember when I tried last year to like lower body fat and I really struggled and I wasn't really getting anywhere and I would say that is just because this year I've been really good at tracking my macros I've really I've set all my macros so if you don't know what they are that is just like your protein carbs fats calories all of them all of us we're all individuals and we all have different like lifestyles different activity levels and stuff so it'd be pointless me telling you my macros because they're not going to suit you because we're all different and I think that's one thing since I realized that and since I learned more about that that's when I've seen like the most progression because I've learned about my individual body rather than going off someone else's calories or you know that kind of vibe something that I would say my probably like best piece of advice if you are cutting as well or like trying to lower your body fat um, is just to make sure you're not under eating now if you're someone who doesn't have like the healthiest relationship with food at the moment you know I'm not here to sit here and tell you that you should be tracking your calories and blah blah because it can get really unhealthy and obsessive and I would never advise anyone who feels in that kind of like way to go and do that. It's taken me a while to get a good relationship and healthy relationship with food where I'm at now in order to like be able to track my macros comfortably. So that brings me on to under eating. Now this is something I did for numerous years. I didn't I wasn't tracking my macros but I was eating well, eating good, or like what I thought was well. And that was just basically not eating enough. Like I'd have, I don't know, like one or two big meals a day. That'd be it. And then I'd be like, well, why am I not losing weight? I don't, I'm not having a six pack kind of thing. This was back in the day. So taking that approach can be really, really damaging. And it's gonna be a lot harder for you to progress and even lose weight because your body's going into like starvation mode and using like anything that it gets and storing that as fat if you're in that position I'd really advise you to like go online and just research like how many calories you should be having like by putting in all your like measurements your weight your height your expenditure levels like what how much how much activity you do in a day all of that in a good place like with your nutrition little bear has been sleeping all day all I've heard is a little snore from the other room <laughs> I'm gonna make a little snack. I'm gonna have um, a slice of rye bread with smooth peanut butter, some natural yogurt with cream, whey protein, and the flavour drops. I'll just top that with some chocolate. I'm 
but yeah this is like my little snack in between dinner just before i go on a walk i absolutely love rye bread i find that really filling and this just satisfies my sweet tooth so my bird feeder has just arrived for the garden. It's a shame it's raining because I can't put it up. I thought this would be nice to attract some more birds to my garden. So now people are probably going to chase them all off. But if you saw, mixed up my little display on here. I got this glass jar and filled it with some Oreo and a new candlestick holder. And it honestly makes a difference when you just change like things that are in like your daily environment. My brow lamination kit has arrived. I got this off Amazon. Um, I did actually order a different one off Amazon. I think it was about a few weeks ago, two weeks ago maybe. And it came like a small pack without any instructions. And thank God it didn't have them because I went back on the um, Amazon page like to find out how you do it. Oh my god, I look like a granny in the, on the product page and luckily saw every single review that was on there, not, not for this pack, my other pack, was like, do you not use this product? I lost my eyebrows, loads of dramatic pictures of people with no eyebrows. Oh, praise the Lord that I actually saw that because I'd have just lost every single brow. And I found this one and it had a ton of reviews. I've also seen quite a few people um, on Instagram using this one, so hopefully it will go well. I'm going to give that a go at some point. Probably won't do it today, actually. I've been ordering so much on Amazon Prime. It is brilliant, but I need to stop because every day I seem to find something else. Today I've just realised that I need like a peeler and um, like a cheese grater. I don't own either of those things and I use a knife for everything. And this is just me or is anyone else doing that? To make a ginger and lemon tea. I managed to get some ginger on my last food shop. I always find as well, if I ever feel bloated, this is like my absolute number one go-to. So I finally chopped the ginger and the lemon into small chunks in the pan. And then I'm just gonna leave this for literally 10 minutes in here. So I've made one for mace as well, and then I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of honey in. Wow, so we're on our walk. Crazy how this weather has just switched. I thought I'd put this coat away for good. It's actually dropped quite cold. So we're just doing our daily step. We've got matching coats on actually, haven't we? Quite wet on that walk and I'm just gonna make some dinner. Beef strips. Um, we don't actually have any egg noodles or I would usually have the whole milk hitters. So I'm just gonna whip some cinnamon I'll show you. I'll show you these. And some salad. I'm just gonna have these beef stir fry strips and wholemeal pita breads, some salad that I had earlier, and then to season it, I'm just using some garlic granules, some all purpose, a bit of curry powder, and peppercorn. Another onion up, and also have some avocado. Lentils in there as well. I'm just gonna add some yogurt to make it creamy again. Some salad with some balsamic vinegar and then this beef little mixture that I just put together on a piece of bread. Really, really tasty. Mason didn't want any of the color, but his is just Mason puts cottage cheese with how much? Everything. everything. Just gonna sit here and eat this. Penelope's. I was watching this film called Kin last night. Mason really got into it, but I wasn't. I wasn't really feeling it. But we may as well finish it. So that's final right. meal, which is um, some oats. I absolutely love having these on an evening. Oats are my favourite thing. I'm just gonna cook them like normally in the microwave. So I just have 40 grams. 150 of milk. I'm just gonna microwave that for about two minutes. Some blueberries. So here is my final little meal of the day. My favorite protein oats with some peanut butter, chia seeds and blueberries. 
So that brings us to the end of this video. I'm just about to eat my oats and watch the rest of this film. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what other videos you would like to see and I'll see you guys in the next video.